Hey guys, Night Prowler here, and uh, we're still on our little camping trip. Anyways, I wanted to, actually we're planning on just having lunch. We packed everything up this morning, and uh, we were, like I said, we did it an overnight. And uh, we're going to have lunch somewhere, I don't know, or up here. We're still up here, so. Uh, we went from our uh, canyon, and we decided to hit the fire road and start driving around. Um, but I wanted to show you this Rolla. I think it's Rolla uh, cargo carrier. I've showed it before, and then I took the video down, and yada, yada, yada. But um, this thing is awesome. Now, you may notice I did break some wiring there. That wiring, I did it. It wasn't like it came with the cargo carrier. I put those lights in, so they didn't run the wiring. I did, and I made a bad choice because I put it underneath um, this little frame here. But in reality, I think what I'm going to do is possibly drill another hole up here like right in here and have it pass through there for the lighting when I redo this because I I, I I scraped a bunch of times this is actually for me backing into something but yeah this thing it's a heavy duty cargo carrier I mean it's rock solid but, hey do you remember how much we paid for this thing nope. yeah, I don't remember I think it was like 150 maybe something, something like that but this is a rock solid uh, cargo carrier. If you you can put your light, it's got a bracket right there. You can put your license plate there. Um, this thing is just stand up. It's got good hardware. It's uh, it's tough. I've le I leave it outside, you know, and it's just it's it's fine. You know, I I I believe you can put about 400 pounds on it. Yeah, I think about 400 pounds. And if you notice on this one. It's got a little bit of a, a lift to it, like a little bit of a an upsweep, and that makes it really nice. So if you're going to do stuff like off-road or whatever, you know, this really helps you out. So if you have a Jeep or something that doesn't have very much room, you throw like 300 pounds, 400 pounds on here. I mean, I've loaded this thing up solid with wood and, you know, taken it. So I think right now it's only got maybe uh, maybe 100 pounds. 200 pounds I don't know something like that dice chest isn't very much and that's just normal stuff in there but yeah these Rolla cargo carriers are sweet they they really uh they tend they stand up to punishment and you got all these good you know tie off points you know if you don't want it to move around just put a a, a J pin on it so that kind of helps it out a little bit and like I said I mean we've scraped a little bit going in and out of you know up and down roads and in and out canyons and stuff but i mean for the most part we've never gotten stuck so my jeep isn't lifted or anything and that's yeah it's pretty good so that's the rollo collar uh cargo carrier that thing's pretty sweet and i'll show you inside how we got things set up in this trash this is all of our trash and everything we got um folding table right there uh bungee cord in along with the uh, sleep mats, bungee cord end. Then we have uh, the tents underneath there. There's our two, um, what am I trying to say? Two chairs. And then the Coleman lantern is, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. It's right there in the corner, right on the other side of the, <sighs> yeah, that kind of sucks. Right on the other side of the thing. And then we got puppy's bed. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. So, right there. We got puppies. We just threw puppies' bed down with our tarp underneath, and that's it. I mean, and these roads aren't, you know, these roads are pretty well maintained. Uh, we were actually on the off road four wheel drive only section, and we still didn't hit that hard. I mean, did we? We didn't bang into anything that hard. Nope. And we don't have a lift or anything, and we did fine. So. That's it, guys. Catch you later.